All right, what's up guys? Dan Delivers here. So as you guys know, I just hit over 100,000 miles on my truck. I have 112,000 miles off flash to odometer on the screen. Uh, it's been doing good. I really like this truck. Like I've said in many videos before, it's the perfect truck for me right now just because it gets good gas mileage. It's enough room for me, girlfriend, or just like a couple family members, family members I have. I've traveled all across the US and Canada with it already. This is my second second pair of tires over the lifetime i do make sure to rotate them uh pretty often these are open rain hts i do recommend these i got them from les schwab they work really good i've added these light bars probably uh around like 50,000 miles i've had them on for a while now i got these two light bars from Oxbeam, and then I got this main light bar from Oxbeam. Well, pod lights, I mean. The only kind of really cosmetic damage that I have so far is probably a cracked windshield. That happened a long time ago. I need to get it replaced. There's like a film you could put on the windshield to where it like keeps some of the heat out just because driving here in California, it's super freaking hot. So we're just gonna be talking about if you guys should get a Maverick and who the Maverick is for, like the demographic that's gonna be buying this. Uh, personally, it was really good for me just because I was 20, one when I bought this I'm 24 now so I was 22 when I bought this it was uh, I was 21 it was late 21 when I bought this I bought it in 2021 around November right at the end of the year so there was like a little bit of end of the uh, end of the year rebates going on I think I got like a thousand dollars off or something like that I don't remember so I forgot to say that my Maverick is an XLT it's not the Lariat the Lariat was too much I wanted this to be more budget friendly like I said I was only uh, 21 when I bought this so I didn't have the most money in the world it is specced out with the XLT 4k tow package FX4 and luxury package and out of all those like I kind of like the luxury package the most just because I have tons of chargers like doing YouTube I have uh, my drone I have my GoPros I have everything so I'm constantly charging stuff I'm constantly have people in the back just trying to shove people in here to show what the map can do but I really think the Maverick's just gonna be good for like even like small families it would be perfect there is enough room to fit a car seat in the back and there is enough room if you come to the back bed it's plenty room to take anything for a camping trip or something like that especially with the soft topper I have there's gonna be plenty of room i've had multiple suitcases on here from multiple people i've been able to fit uh five people in here and five people stuff in here and uh traveling for powwows and like the native american uh, dances i do we have like at least two suitcases each so if you look in here the soft topper like i said is amazing i got some uh jacks right now a little bit of trash back there but you can go all the way up to the top of the cabs that's the main reason i want to get this soft topper just because it offers a lot more room than just getting a tonneau cover tonneau cover you can only go up here fit a few suitcases in before i had the soft topper i was uh just covering stuff up with tarp if it did rain or something that's one thing nice about the soft topper too is that it does keep like 99 percent of the rain out a little bit seeps in but it's not enough of a problem to where it's gonna get anything like valuable wet or anything like that it's just gonna seep in and run along the little rails here's a new light bar that i forgot to talk about i added this and it's a new reverse light got this from colite it's really good just for like working on anything back here i'm able to just uh turn the light bar on and have as much light as i need so a lot of people in my comment section are like get a real truck blah blah this and that that isn't a real truck but I don't think you take into consideration that not everybody needs a big giant F350. I've I personally have a 03 Ram 3500 with a 59, and I love that thing to death. I'm not gonna argue with anybody in the comments. Uh, I don't think the Maverick is as built as strong as that truck because that truck almost has half a million miles on it. I'll throw a video on the screen of the uh, truck i've mudded through that thing that thing's been literally everywhere i don't want to argue with anybody in the comments this is a real truck just because it doesn't look like a real truck i, I think it still does because it does everything that a truck needs for me at least i know some people need to call like 20 jillion pounds in the bed or they need to i don't know climb mount everest or something like that but this truck does everything that i need over the hundred thousand miles i've had this truck i've never had a big enough complaint uh like comfort wise or utility wise to not justify me having this truck or justify me having to get a bigger truck or a more expensive truck um it's always been good to me so far utility wise you can watch my other videos i have had some mechanical problems with this truck but yeah this truck has been 
super good to me utility wise I really recommend it in that sense this is my very first brand new vehicle it was kind of a big step for me uh, it is a, one of the cheaper ones but like I said I'm a young guy so I'm not gonna be going out there and buying a Corvette or a, a Ram 3500 mega cab or a power wagon or something I would like that but I don't got enough money as far as the interior goes I've never had a big complaint like I said I have the luxury package so I have heated seats uh, I would like to have cooled seats just being in California uh, you guys know the inside you could damn near cook an egg or bake some damn cookies on the dash so coming inside you guys can see we have the new Smartliner floor mats, but we do still have a good amount of room. One big thing that the Maverick always gets compared to is the uh, Tacoma. And honestly, I've been in Tacomas, I've been in a few different Tacomas now, and the interior of the Maverick feels bigger. It, maybe it might not be bigger, but it feels way bigger. Definitely has more headroom, especially in the back seat. The front seat is kind of around the same, but I really like the Ma the way the Maverick feels inside. Uh, it feels more open, kind of a little more friendly. Tacomas, they're built tough and nice, but it feels more like a tank to me, like you're riding in the tank. And this thing feels like you're riding in something more comfortable, which some people like the more tanky feel, some people like this more comfortable feel. But like right now, this is my seat all the way back and I I can't even touch. I am 5'10 and I can slide all the way up, all the way up. I'm super duper close, but usually I'm riding like, like right here. This is plenty, plenty of room for me. Plenty of room for me riding normal. Uh, this is the exact same, exact same for the driver's seat. Uh, I do ride probably a little bit farther back on the driver's side, but if you come to the back seat, you guys can see this is where the Maverick I think really shines because the headroom in the back seat is super nice like it doesn't feel super duper cramped back here um, from the outside it looks like it would be tiny in here and you wouldn't be able to fit like a wiener dog in here or something but it is super big for its size so like right here my knees aren't even really hitting and like I said this is sitting behind myself 5'10 person and I'm also 5'10 so it'd be 5'10 5'10 and the only complaint I do have back here actually is that the speaker is up in the actual pillar right here. So if you do have someone in the back and they're trying to sleep or something, the music is like right in their ear. So that's kind of annoying. So usually if I have people in the car, I will turn off the back speakers and this front speaker still sound uh, decent. Overall, the speaker system in here is very uh, lackluster. You're going to want to get a new stereo system. It's just kind of not the best thing on the market. And uh, that's one thing I've been meaning to change, but it's not a big enough problem to where it kills me inside. You know, I'm still getting here and I go bump. So my feet are now hitting the door and this is where I stretch out to. So you cannot lay in here like fully. You can sit up if you were to sit up like this. And I have slept in the back seat and I have slept in the front seat. I travel so much that I sleep in my truck all the time. I could tell you uh, with 100% certainty that you can damn near live in this Maverick because I damn near have, like all the comments have said already. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I've slept in the driver's seat, passenger seat, uh, the back seat. I have yet to sleep in the bed. I do have a video coming out pretty soon about sleeping in the bed, but Everything about the Maverick uh, I've enjoyed throughout my ownership of it. I've got it uh, late 2021, so yeah, so beginning of 2022, let's say, so I've had it for now uh, two years, and I've been super happy with it. I've got 112,000 miles, like I said, and I plan to get some more out of it. But yeah, if you're looking to get a Maverick, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are getting, if you guys have any questions. Um, I will be trying to do a Q&A uh, pretty soon too, so if you have any questions, comment them down below. Uh, and anything you have about the Maverick, I have plenty more Maverick videos on my channel if you guys wanna go check those out. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will be coming out with more content. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Dan delivers out. Hey guys, I'm interrupting your video real quick just to ask you guys if you guys can do me a solid and go subscribe to my other channel, Res Runner. I'll have the link in the description. I'll have more power content, kind of more lifestyle content on there. I really want to get that to a thousand subscribers. That was loud. 
I really want to get that 2,000 subscribers. That is my goal right now. So if you guys can go over there and subscribe, it would really help me out. You guys will get a bunch of different types of content, not just uh, basic Maverick truck content. I'm just kidding. I love making Maverick content, but I would make more uh, stuff that's more me and more my hobbies and everything, dirt bikes. So if you guys are interested, go over there and help me out and get to 1,000 subscribers. I'll appreciate that very much. So thanks for watching, guys, and I appreciate all you.